So I have here in front of me three uh, different bolts. They're all slightly different by a little bit, and we can see that one's slightly taller than the other two, and they're all slightly different colors, but there's more differences than that in the, between these bolts. So first of all, one of the ways we measure or determine what type of bolt we have is by its outside diameter. So we can measure the outside diameter here to find um, the size of the, the bolt. And then it's also determined by the distance between each thread or by the number of threads in one inch, depending whether we're talking about a metric or a standard bolt. So I have here this uh, first longer bolt. I'm just measuring the outside diameter of it. And I'm finding that um, it's just less than 20 millimeters. Now this is the outside diameter of the bolt. I would probably round up and say that this is a 20 millimeter bolt. Okay. If I were to look at the other one of the other bolts, we have a distance that's approximately um, three quarters of an inch, or 750 thousandths of an inch. Um, so I would round this one up because it is slightly smaller than. Uh, three quarters of an inch, I would round it up and say that it is a three quarter inch bolt. So the next um, way we're going to measure these bolts and help us determine the what nut they would work with or what thread they would work with on an internal thread, we need to know the, the number of threads per inch or the pitch or the which is also known as the distance from one point on one thread to the next corresponding thread um, in other millimeters or inches. Um, now Metric bolts are designated by um, the distance from one thread to the next, or the pitch. And then standard bolts, three quarter inch bolts like this one here, would be designated by the number of threads in one inch. Okay, So there are some tools we can use to measure the, the pitch of our threads um, using a thread pitch gauge like one of these I have here we can determine what the pitch of these threads are. Now that we've measured the outside diameter, or the major diameter, and we've also measured the pitch of the threads on each of these bolts, the designation for our metric bolt would be M for metric, 20 is the outside diameter, and then 2.5 meaning the distance from each thread. So it will be M20-2.5. Then we have our standard bolts here, both of which are the same diameter and thread um, size. We could say we have 3 quarter 10 UNC. UNC meaning the shape of the thread. The third way we would designate a bolt or find its um, part of its designation is by the strength of the bolt. And that can be determined by what is printed on the top or the head of the bolt. And we can see our metric bolt here has 8.8 .8 printed on the head. Then our other two bolts have little lines or markings um, to help us distinguish the grade of the bolt. The metric is pretty simple. 8.8 .8 is the grade um, which helps us determine the tensile strength of the bolt. A standard bolt grade is determined by the number of lines and then we add two. So it starts at grade two, um, which means that there would be no marks whatsoever on the head of the bolt. And then as we increase, for example, on this one here we have three marks. This would be a grade five bolt because we'd add the three marks and then add two. The grade, this grade eight bolt here we find by taking the six lines, adding two, and that gives us a grade eight bolt helps us determine the tensile strength of that bolt. Grade 8 bolt is capable of more tensile strength than um, a grade 5 bolt or a grade 2 bolt. So finding the designation of our nut would be the next thing we could do to help us find which bolt this nut belongs with or will match with. Finding a, the designation for a nut is a little bit more difficult compared to finding it for a bolt. Um, the inside diameter of that bolt is not going to be exactly the same as its designation. So I've taken my Werner calipers here and I'm measuring the inside of my nut. The inside of my nut measures approximately 0 0.655 uh, 
um, thousandths of an inch. We can see that that's not anywhere close to either 20 millimeters or um, three quarters of an inch. So we can use a tap drill chart like we have here to help us determine what the size of that nut would be. Using the decimal equivalent side of the uh, tap drill chart we have, we can look on the columns here to find the decimal size we've measured in inches. And we've measured approximately uh, 0 0.655. And we have here 0 0.656 as the closest uh, size approximately. Now using the tap drill side of the chart, we would come along through the column here to find the tap drill size, and ours was 21 30 seconds. And the tap drill size corresponds with a 3 quarter inch nut, um, and we could measure the thread pitch with our thread gauge, our thread pitch gauges, and make sure that it's a uh, 10 threads per inch nut, and that would tell us the size of that nut. Now you can see that's a pretty quick and simple way for you to be able to determine the size of the nut or bolt that you are working with.